Hey everyone, welcome back. In this video, we are going to discuss about how to manage the multi-employee position. So multi-employee position that allows multiple employees to collaborate on a single POI session. And this can be helpful in various scenarios such as during the peak hours, multiple employees can work on the same sessions to reduce customers waiting times and increase efficiency. Tasks like orders, taking, payment processing and packing can be divided among the employees within the same session. So if you want to manage the multi-employees position in your POIs, just get into the POIs module and under the configuration settings, we need to enable the multi-employee position and that will allow multiple employees to look um, into the session and switch between the employees. And here we can find two uh, fields called basic rights and advanced rights. So if we ke are keeping this field as null, any of the um, employees can be the cashier. So let me add a few employees over here. So I'm going to add Abigail Peterson uh, and Mark Demo as my employee. And here I'll be considering Mark Demo as the accountant and um, Abigail Peterson as simply the cashier of the employee. So the cashiers will be uh, not having the right to close the session. They can just create the orders, they can just lock the orders, but they can not close the session. But here, I'm going to consider Mark Demo as my accountant uh, of the session and I'll be letting Mark Demo uh, to just close the session also. But uh, we will be providing the basic right for Mark Demo. And here, let me choose the advanced right. So advanced rights um, here, we can just set the administrator. So administrators will be having the power to close the session by default. Michelle admin is considered as the administrator. So even if you don't add any um, employees over here, Michelle will be considered as the administrator who can close the session. Now let me add um, a new um, yeah, administrator who is Doris and Ellie Lambert. So uh, here um, you can just save the session. And yeah. We have just uh, saved the changes in the settings. Now let's move on to the employee module and let's consider the employees, uh, which is Abigail Peterson and Doris as well as Mark Demo. Now let me consider Ellie Lampard too. And here you can choose Ellie Lampard and let's choose the employee. And here you can see uh, he comes under the marketing department. And under the HR settings, we can just set a pin code for this employee. So let me just uh, set the pin code of the employees as 147. And we can also generate an employee ID over here. Um, this is how we set the badge ID, not the employee ID, badge ID. And if you want to just print the badge, you can print, print that. And uh, using this badge, the employee can either log in or the employee can also log in using the pin. Now let me close uh, the... Yeah, before that, uh, let me create this employee as the uh, user. So this employee will be considered as the internal user as well as uh, the employee will be having the right of the administrator. Now, as you just move on to the uh, settings of Odoo, um, you can find that we can just manage the user and the created user will be visible over here, who is Ellie Lambert and you can find over here. So currently, you can see that uh, the Ellie Lambert is an internal user who has the right of administrator. So under the sales point of sale, you can see uh, Odoo will automatically configure this user as the administrator. Now, let's move on to the um, yeah, uh, POIs to manage with the session. So before that, uh, we know we can either uh, log in using the badge ID or using the pin. So let's view the badge first. So this is the badge of Ellie Lambert. So if the Ellie Lambert want to log in the session uh, of POIs, either he can log in using this badge ID or he can just use his pin code to log in. So likewise, every employee will have a badge ID as well as pin ID. So they can either use any of uh, the uh, one of the ID to just log in into the session. Now let's back to the Odoo platform. Now let's open this POS and you can see we can just open the session and you can set a balance over here and you can see when you try to log in you can look into the shop either scanning your badge or selecting the cashier. 
So here we can see multiple cashiers over here. So let me choose Abigail Peterson uh, over here and you can just log in using her pin and let's give the pin and let's confirm. And if you want to set an opening balance over here, you can set that. Afterwards, open the session and let's add the product uh, corner desk. Left seat with two quantity and you can see that the uh, Abigail will have the power uh, to just create the order and choose a customer over here. So she is going to make an order and you can just validate the process and you can see that she can just create an order for the customer and we can also uh, change the cashier from here but she won't be having the power to close the uh, or the right to close this session she can just order create the orders and she can just log the orders now let's change the um, user into mark demo so uh, let's log in as mark demo right now so mark demo is considered as a cashier now as you just move on you can just create a new order so mark demo is creating a new order with six quantity of corner desk writes it for his customer but as uh, the customer, I mean, as the uh, user is considered as the accountant and he has the power of the administrator, he can just close the session even if this user is given under the uh, basic rights. Okay, now let's the use, change the user as Eli Lambert who is considered as the, um, yeah, uh, the administrator. So he is the new administrator and... Uh, you can see as we just switch the uh, administrator or uh, if we just set a new administrator, the administrator will have the power to just close the session. So let me just change uh, the pin and login as the user and let's confirm. And you can see we have just uh, changed the user as Eli Lampard. So currently this session is handling by Eli Lampard and you can just add the orders over here. And you can see that when you just move on to the hand, hand burger icon, you can see that uh, he can just close the session also. So by default, we will be considering uh, Michelle as the administrator. So when you just move on and you can see, we can just add the user. So Michelle uh, do need to give the pin or badge ID to enter into this session. And he can just log into the session at any time without using the pin or badge ID. Now he can just close the session. So this is how we manage with the multiple employees uh, um, in a session. And uh, hope this concept is clear for you. And if you want to um, get any um, videos on specific topic or if you want to get any auto customization, feel free to contact Cybroses. So hope this concept is clear for you. As always, stay awesome and thank you for watching the video.